what we have in front of us right now is probably one of the most important building blocks of the Elliott wave principle. This is a motive wave pattern, and specifically this is an impulse wave. We have waves one, two, three, four, and five. Now each pattern is going to have its own specific set of rules and guidelines. For example, when dealing with the impulse wave, wave two may never retrace more than 100% of wave one. Wave three cannot be the shortest impulse wave of waves one, three, or five. And wave four may never end in the price territory of wave one. The significance of the impulse wave is that it denotes or uh, identifies the, uh, the trend, the direction of the trend of the next larger degree. Now I remember when I began learning the Elliott Wave principle back in the old days, I would study these diagrams, but then when I would actually move to an actual price chart, an open high low close price chart, I would um, kind of get lost because simply put, I had trained my eye to identify line diagrams. So it just takes a little bit of practice, but I wanted to just show you how we translate from line diagrams to open high low close price charts. So this is an impulse wave. Now let me show you a very nice impulse wave here or evident in the 30 minute price chart of Goldman Sachs. And essentially what we're focused on is this one structure right here, this advance. This is a very nice impulse wave. Now it's actually a little bit special in that typically within an impulsive structure, within a five wave move, as you can see here, you see that wave three is the longest wave. Within an impulsive structure, one wave is going to extend, and we call that wave the extended wave. More often than not, that extension is going to be your third wave price move. But on occasion, you'll see wave three, or wave one extend, or possibly even wave five extend. When this occurs, then the remaining two impulse waves tend toward equality, and that's simply the adherence to the Elliott Wave guideline having to do with wave equality. Now in this instance here, I've simply highlighted a basic impulsive structure. Here we have waves one, two, three, four, and five. And as you can see, the rules and guidelines uh, specific to this formation are indeed adhered to. Wave two does not retrace more than 100% of wave one. Wave three is not the shortest impulse wave of waves one, three, or five. And wave four does not end in the price territory of wave one. So this is what an actual impulse wave looks like on an open, open high, low, close price chart. But more importantly, notice too that we're looking at a 30 minute price chart of Goldman Sachs. We see these structures, these five wave patterns, these counter trend or corrective price moves evident in all markets and all, all time frames. What I'm trying to, well, the point I'm trying to make now is that the wave principle is fractal. These patterns that we're discussing actually form larger and smaller versions of themselves.